Hello community. Yes, it is another Saturday morning. Your Llama 2 is running on your phone. You know about Apple's new LLM. In short, your life is boring. Well, you could go to your garage and you could optimize here the error function for your quantum computer prototype, but maybe you need a different kind of a challenge. What do you think about integrating robotics into a large language model? You know, the task specification in robotics come from various sources and in various forms. You have here one-shot demonstration, you have human language instruction, or you have simply visual goals that the robot should follow and demonstrate. So here you see here a very nice uh, demonstration from Prima Labs at GitHub IO. And you see you have, for example, here the instruction in a human text plus some pictures, some visualization. And the machine should do this. So we integrate now not an LLM into a robot, but we integrate robotics into a large language model. That sounds interesting. So here we go. What we do, easy. We take Palm. We have our 540 billion free trainer per parameter model. We combine it with a vision transformer with 22 billion. And we call the whole thing Palm. E for E for embodied. And those system we call vision language model, a VLM. And we put some sensor inputs there. Sensors can be vision sensors, infrared, ultrasound, LIDAR, radio waves, normal human sound, whatever you have. So we built here some beautiful Palm E system. And this goal of the Palm E system is to control the movement of a robot with different actuators and whatever. But the main intelligence will be our LLM and our vision transformer. So Palm E is designed to perform high level decision making tasks for a robot, which can include deciding where to move the arm or what object to pick up. In general, we talk about embodied system or general purpose multimodal language models. If you want a short refresh on Vision Transformer, go here with Discover Vision Transformer Tech in 2023. And maybe have here a look at the image classification for cancer screening. If you want here a complete list of videos, you have 12 videos just on Vision Transformer. You have here, for example, if you want to dive deeper, I'll show you here how you can read the self-attention head of the last layer of Vision Transformer, what you can learn from the architecture of Vision Transformer, or if you want an image segmentation and you want to identify each and every person in this image. Beautiful. But we are here for Palm E. Palm E is designed to perceive and analyze the robot's environment. Of course, we have a vision transformer. We have sensors, a dozen of sensors. So we incorporate the continuous input from here, the sensors, images, whatever you have. We encode it in a sequence of vectors and we inject these vectors into the language embedding space of the pre-trained language models. This allows Palm E to make inferences about the state of their environment continuously and decide, since it's an LLM and you know we have an LLM, you can go step by step, show me your augmentation. We have now here to decide the best course of an action. So great. So we can perceive the robot's environment, analyze the available options. We have a 540 billion trainable parameter LLM, so there is enough of argumentation. And then this LLM decides on the next step of the task that we have given to Palm E in our natural human language. So we talk here about embodied language models to directly incorporate real world continuous sensor modalities into our language model. And we establish now a link between the words, like pick up the red ball and the percepts. This means what and where is the red ball? So what is our current perceptual context as an LLM? Great. So we can perceive the environment, analyze option, decide on the step. Yes, yes, yes. It is here designed to have here transfer knowledge, a transfer learning functionality from the visual language domain 
into some embodied reasoning, which includes here tasks like robot planning in environments with complex dynamics and physical constraints. I will show you an example in a second and even answering questions about the observable world. Now, simplest example, you have an image here of a robot in a kitchen. You say, hey, I'm a robot operating in a kitchen. I've given this image, so what do I see? And the LLM comes back. It's a bowl of eggs, a bowl of flour, a bowl of sugar. Yes, a spoon, a bag of flour. And the human asked me to do a task. I will respond with the sequence of action I would do to accomplish the task with only the items I see. And the human command comes down. Use all of the ingredients you see to make a cake batter. And then you see this is the recipe. Or if you want, you give now this image here to your machine and you say, hey, what are the two teams playing in this photo? And which was the last to win a championship? And which year did they win? And who was the star player at this year? And then the robot come back and tells you exactly what it sees and, and, and argumentation. So we combine both worlds of vision and language for here some embodied language model. We have continuous input from our sensor modalities, whatever sensor we have, of an embodied agent. Yes, we're operating here also with agent models. This enables the language model itself to make more grounded inferences for sequential decision making in the real world, since we are operating here on an autoregressive system. So we combine now an LLM with additional information about the real world that is given to us in form of sensor input. Sensor data, yes, you know this. Very easy example. Now, Palm E is shown to really perform very well at zero-shot learning or at one-shot learning. So here you have an example. Move the red star to the top left corner. Move the red circle to the red star. This is the human language command. And you see the machine understands, has been trained to perform the task. Nudge the red circle closer to the red star, so it touches it a little bit. Then there comes some disturbance. Some human now takes away an object and repositions the object. And of course, the machine can follow up since it understands what it sees. And it has, if you want, kind of reasoning based on its LLM. And since we're operating with a 540 billion, not bad. Do we have only this in two dimension? No, this is an example of Palm E in three dimension, operating in a kitchen. Go to the drawers, identify the drawers, identify which drawer you can open, open it with a specific technique, take out the content, analyze the content of the drawer, look for here some chips, take out the chips. Now there's another human who comes in and says, ah, disturb kick it back into the drawer. No problem, we have continuous sensor input to our system. So we identify, oops, it has changed. This chip is still here in the drawer. Bring it to the user, put it down. And you see, this is great. We have a live action happening. Now, this year, of course, if you want to see it, March 6, 2023, here by Robotics at Google, Google Research and Technische Universität Berlin. We have here our publication, POMI, an embodied multimodal language model. Highly recommended, it's really interested, and they have some really interesting visualization if you want to learn here about the combination of language and other multimodal nodes. Of course, and this will be the content here of my next video, you have also Stanford and NVIDIA operating on the same topic here. And this is May 28, 2023, you have Wima. Wima is more, it's very similar to here what I showed you with Palm E, but there are significant differences. We talk about this in the next video, but it can perform here a similar task. It is beautiful, but the architecture is a little bit different. So I say this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe I see you in my next video.